Twitter planning an IPO, but is it going to stay weird? Staying weird is what Farhad Manju wants. He's a columnist, a new columnist here with the Wall Street Journal. He's making his debut on Digits now. Farhad, thank you very much for joining us. Hey, good to be here. So why do you want Twitter to stay weird? Well, in, in my column, I argue that one of the things that, that people don't, many people who don't use Twitter don't realize is that Twitter is very different from Facebook. Uh, basically, Twitter is not for everyone. It's a very good service for connecting with people who want to stay public, like journalists or celebrities or marketers. Um, but it's not very good for connecting with your friends, which is what Facebook is for. And I think, I argue there's kind of limited appeal to that kind of service because most people don't want to be public. They don't want to post everything publicly. Um, that makes Twitter very different and it makes it a little hard to get into. Um, one of the things people at Twitter notice is that uh, you know, a lot of people sign up for Twitter and then a uh, few of them kind of keep using it because it takes a little time to get used to used to the service. Um, and I argue that one of the things that's going to happen when Twitter uh, goes public is that it's going to be forced to become a lot more accessible and basically much more like Facebook uh, than than like Twitter is now. So you, 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 the, the title of your column is Please Twitter Just Stay Weird. That's what you're saying you want. Do you actually hold up much hope of that happening, given that when corporations are public, they answer to the shareholders more than anything else? Yeah, I mean, I think that's that's the worry that I have that I think uh, other people on Twitter who, who love Twitter have. Um, you know, I think the people who run Twitter know that their service is different from Facebook and that they don't want to make it like Facebook. Um, but on the other hand, they do need to, as a public company, they will need to report uh, constant, steady, huge growth. And they will need to sort of make it look like their service is a service that has mainstream appeal. So far, it doesn't seem like Twitter is that kind of service. Um, the, the numbers suggest that it has maybe 200 to 300 million users, which is a lot, but it's uh, a fraction of what Facebook has, and it's not growing as fast as newer services like Instagram. And I think that's because uh, you know, it's not for everyone, and it is a little weird. Like there, there are kind of uh, conventions, like uh, the at sign or the hashtag sign, um, or just the idea of meeting people who you don't really know in real life. That's all strange, I think, to to make to mainstream internet users. And if Twitter kind of dials down on those features, it it'll it might make Twitter more appealing to uh, to everyone else, but it might make it kind of less appealing to the people who use it now. So I guess what you're saying is that, that they shouldn't try to be all things to all people. And where, whereas now you can go on there, it, it is strange. You can be insulted by people you've never met in in, in life, and 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 that is is funny. Now, what about just leaving this to the marketplace? And if it does get all mainstreamy and unweird, won't somebody else come along and do something that will fill the void? Uh, yeah, perhaps. I mean, these social services are really hard to kind of get. It, it's really difficult to kind of get, get a critical mass on a single service. And I think we have that now with Twitter. Twitter is really good for real time events. So like uh, either sporting events or, you know, things like the Emmy Awards um, or uh, uh, breaking news when something uh, big happens and people kind of follow along on TV and on Twitter. And I think they see their big market as being um, tied into that, that viewing pattern. Um, so that's a potential use case that the market kind of might go to them for. Um, what I wonder is whether that will be big enough to satisfy growth. You know, like cable news is a big business, but it's not, it's not the sort of big business that, that, uh, Facebook wants, um, and that Twitter's investors might want too. Okay. Great stuff. Farhad Manju making his debut on Digit. We appreciate your time, sir. Thanks so much. I'm Simon Constable and that was Digits.